how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for continuing to watch and support and subscribe. <sighs> Today is a special day. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you hear that? It's quiet. That is because I have the greatest husband in the entire world. I'm not joking. Like, the most loving, the most caring, the best provider, the best leader for our family. Like, there is none better out there. You know, like, there's no better man, no better husband. I've observed a few, and I have the best. So I'm sorry to all of you out there who are not married to him because you don't have the best. I mean, I'm sure there's some other like good ones out there, but mine is the best. And don't try to go to Ethiopia and find somebody who's similar, you know, in character and all that. Like you can't, it doesn't exist. So he's the greatest. I'm actually spending some time today without the kids um, because my husband understood the need for me to get a break. You know, he's like I said before, back at work. And while he's working all day, like he gets breaks, he gets lunch breaks, he gets, you know, time to himself um and even though he's working and out of the house and providing for his family and I'm so proud of him for everything he does you know he is not dealing with the chaos of three little boys every day so he recognized my need for you know some time to myself and he told me you know what you go out have some breakfast go have some coffee do your own thing um, I'll be home with the boy. So he's home by himself with the three. He's amazing, y'all. I'm telling you. So I am really just enjoying this moment this morning. And um, once I, you know, have my little time, I'm going to be heading over to a design studio for our new home that we are building. And I'm going to be um, con do doing some what is it like final decisions on some of the design choices that my husband and I made so we had the first appointment with them and we did some preliminary picks and choices and got you know estimates and stuff like that and that was really fun so I have an idea um, a very like sure idea of what we're going to be doing in our house but um, now I'm just going to make those final choices and then after that, I think you can't you can't um, make any adjustments or changes after this meeting today. So, you know, this is like the one where we're this is what we want. And then I believe they're going to break ground on the house. So I'll take you along for that appointment. Hopefully they'll let me film it. I'll try to capture as much as I can. Um, yeah. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, so here I am. I just arrived to the KB Home Design Studio. Yes, that is who we are going with for our new home build. Um, so I just began as I entered walking through the design studio, looking at some of the options um, while I waited for my design consultant to come, you know, meet with me and go over the choices that we already made. And I didn't make it all the way around the store before our flooring consultant showed up, actually. So I was working with two people this day. Um, this is our flooring consultant. She is laying out some of the choices that I pre-selected um, in my first meeting with her. And um, so now I'm just looking at what I saw online and going over them to see what I like best in person. 
So downstairs, we're going to be doing this wood type flooring um, on the entire downstairs. That will be the entry, the kitchen, the living room, dining room, powder room, all of that. Upstairs, um, we're going to be having this gray carpet color with extra padding for comfort in the rooms. And then there's a tile that is not here yet that I will show you guys. Um, so with this flooring, I chose the top and the bottom two colors during my first visit online. And then our uh, flooring consultant selected this middle color, which I don't love. I wasn't really feeling the gray undertones in it because I really wanted to go with something a little bit more brown to bring warmth to the space. Um, because as you could see on some of those uh, samples, we're going with like a white cabinet look. So I thought brown would bring a nice warmth into our downstairs living space. So she was just showing me a couple other brown options, um, you know, just that I didn't see online. I did like that one. It's very pretty, but it's a, a I think a little too two-toned in my opinion. I want like a one-tone, one-color um, co consistent consistency. So she's just pulling a couple more options for me here. The, this is very nice, but it still was not competing with my choices, um, I felt. So she's just pulling it so I can see them side, side by side. Here's another one. And then I think the next couple that she pulled are going into a higher price range. So I didn't even really, you know, bother to have her pull those completely out and show them to me because you know I feel like the choices within our price range were completely fine so there's really no reason to go up a level okay so here we are back at my first two choices um, and I'm comparing them against this blue color cabinet because we're going to do an accent color on our island cabinets in our kitchen and I'm just trying to see how these two browns um, look up against this blue color and seeing which one I like better. And it was kind of a difficult choice for me because I liked the darker color on the left. But then the one on the right has the like wood graining that looks that makes it look so natural. So um, even though I like the color on the left, maybe a little bit more, we or I went with the second color. And you guys, this was really a whole ordeal. This was like a real selection process because now she had me trying to decide between a couple other colors with the same like wood grain look, um, just to confuse me even further. But really, I already knew what I wanted. I knew I wasn't, I wasn't really liking, like I said earlier, the two-tone color on that third option. So that one was eliminated. And then I think the second one here that's now on the right on the floor is too light for the feel I was going. You know, I didn't, I wanted something a little bit darker. Like that was what she's holding is a definite no. I don't even know why she brought that over here, but like, and, and it was in the higher price range. So mm -mm, no, she was trying to confuse me, but I knew what I wanted. This first one right here with the wood grain and the nice dark color is just beautiful. It goes so nice with that blue. So you can see here is the blue and everything just looks really amazing together. So once she moves that other lighter brown out of the way, um, I mean, she kind of just left it there so that I could see if I was really sure, you know, with the kitchen cabinets that is a quartz simply white is what it's called um, for our countertop and yeah so we're just kind of looking at all of the color samples together and just so I was absolutely sure we placed the lighter co color over the darker color wood floor and as you can see I mean maybe you have a different opinion but I just felt like it wasn't it wasn't working so we went with my original choice always go with your gut and here we are picking a tile so this is a gray quartz a countertop that we're going to do in the bathrooms and you know there's different flooring options lighter colors to medium to dark and I actually really like the darker color tile because it's going to have white cabinets to contrast it and then the the gray quartz on top 
so you'll be able to see all of my color choices here it's a very like cool tone um vibe with a little bit of warmth from the floors and i'm loving and actually the floor is kind of warm and cool if you have picked up on it because that brown floor has some hues of blue in it so it's really a whole cool tone vibe i'm going for and i think this looks beautiful so here are the um, extra padding that we're going to do under the carpets upstairs so there's a thicker one that i was like whoa that feels way different than this kind of thin flimsy padding so we did it um we did an upgrade for a thicker padding on our carpet here are the carpet color choices this is like a taupe color so it's kind of in between brown and gray so i just put it next to my other color choices so i can see you know how it flows I don't think it flows well with that dark tile though so it might be okay with the wood flooring but I felt like it wasn't really working with the tile whereas that kind of white gray carpet goes great with the wood and the tile just put it back on there one more time to be sure like mm, that's throwing off my cool vibes you know that makes it a little bit too warm Okay, that's enough of flooring. Moving on to other design choices. These are the pedestal sinks that are options for our powder room. Um, we went with the round one. These are, um, you know, the shower options with the, what is it, the framing. You can do black or chrome or whatever other colors that they offer. Um, this isn't, this is still in progress, so ignore that. This is a sample like bathroom um, vanity and the mirror hello uh, the mirror comes just like that and we're gonna do that gray color quartz instead of the white or the beige in the bathrooms but we're, that white quartz that you see right here also I think this is the same one is what we're doing in the kitchen and these little hanging lights are so cute over the island um, they give kind of a I think modern look in the kitchen I wanted a little bit more of a statement piece type of lighting so I'll show you the one that we chose um, but yeah so this is the you know the design studio vignettes that they have set up for you to kind of get some design ideas we are doing this subway style tile in the kitchen so I'm showing you up close ours is going to be white instead of gray so white upper cabinets white um, subway tile backsplash and then the center island is going to be that navy blue cabinet that you saw before but they don't have that kind of on display in the design studio that is just too unique so all right here we do have these faucets we chose the the chrome color the high arc faucet right here um, which I think looks very nice I really did like the black too but you know all of our other kitchen appliances and um, accessories and stuff are gonna be this chrome silver color so you know just trying to keep a theme going here and here are the undermount sinks. We chose a single basin undermount sink. So these are double. That is not undermount. The single mount that we chose is actually featured over here. I like those lights though. Those are kind of statement pieces. Um, yeah, so we chose this undermount sink. Stainless steel single basin. Very nice. Actually, is that the same faucet? No, that's not. That's the spring faucet. Uh, so yes, that is how our kitchen is going to look and now back over to the lighting So I told you guys I wanted more of a statement piece um, These were the options they had and I actually really liked this kind of Metal caged candlelight looking piece. I think it's not as modern and it adds a little bit of character um, so, you know, I kept looking at the same one in different colors. They had like a gold color and then you can't really tell, but that's like a brushed wood, I think. And this is the brushed nickel. So it's a little bit more silver. You can see it better in that lighting. Okay. So this is the microwave and stove oven combination that we are going to have in our house. Um, looks very nice. This is the undermount sink and faucets that we're going to have in all of the bathrooms. And that's it. 
Let me know in the comments below if you like it. Thanks. Bye.